A huge bomb just exploded. This is from a prophetic dream from one of my viewers whose name is Jotty Man 21. That's his code name. Now listen to this. I've had two recurring dreams within two weeks of each other. It starts out the same. I'm sitting in my living room reading a book about holographic universe. No idea why. I just am. Then from out of the blue, I hear a faint booming sound as though a huge bomb had just exploded. Well, I go outside to see what, if anything, has just happened, but no plume, no fire, no nothing. Then I start hearing a rumbling, oh, very deep, very disturbing. As I walk, onto the field outside of my home. I feel this wind. It's subtle at first, but getting stronger and stronger by the second. It is then that I realize my time is almost up. With no distance, excuse me, with no hurricane forecast, no storms, no tornadoes, no tornado warnings, that is. I instinctively know. I know what's about to happen. It is in the distance that I see what appears to be a dark gray wall. It is reaching high into the sky. Suddenly, it's upon me within a few seconds. I hate to think about it. That thing hit me like a freight train. Next thing I know, I'm swooshed up in the air. And then it's like I could see these the streets below me and I got a glimpse of of the houses and all of that going on beneath me. And then I, I feel this, I'm engulfed inside of this huge wave. Just before I let out my final breath, I woke up. I was sweating and shaking. Twice, I have had this dream, and they have been exactly the same. Now, how often does that happen? If the dreams or nightmares are anything to go by, then either one thing or the other is happening. Either I am dying, and I don't know it, or something really, really bad is about to happen. soon. Well, that was Jotty Man 21. I read most of it, inserted a few words here and there just so I could flow. But listen, I was in the, I was upstairs in my bedroom. This is Pat speaking now. My two cents. This is my two cents time. I was upstairs in my bedroom and for a split second, I had a vision. And the vision was of a far distance. It was this big, soft arch of light. And as soon as I saw it, I knew it was an explosion from a bomb. There are so many people having these dreams, 
so many people having these visions. We've got the earthquakes, we've got the tsunamis, the tornadoes. Remember the three I told you about in my dream in my dream 2015 warning? Disasters, are you safe? Well, there are so many, so many, many people. Something is coming because there are so many saints praying, and that's why we need to continue to pray. I believe. Some of these things have either been delayed, abated, or held in limbo. Because, listen you guys, and some of you leaders of this country, some of you, you senators, you governors, you, part of, you people who are part of the elite, the 2% of you that run the world, your greed, your selfishness, your self-centeredness, your lies, your schemes. You're not only going to cost the poor people a lot, which you've already done for centuries, you and your ancestors. You are going to cost yourself because when God brings you the bill, it's going to be hell for you to pay. You ever hear the street expression, you may be a little too high up to have heard it. But I've heard it, and I'm going to tell you what it says. Don't let your behind write a check that you can't cover. So, you have to remember God is a just God. He's not just a God of love. He's not just a God of mercy. God is a God of, of, of judgment. And listen, if the innocent ones, if the weak or the poor get swept up in the judgment, but they belong to God, trust me, they won't feel any pain. But what you end up having to experience, sweethearts, it's going to hurt you from this day to never ending. It will be a never ending agony. You will have to experience some of the most excruciating, agonizing traumas and disasters in your own personal lives and in your bodies that will never end. See, for us, for us, weeping may endure for a night that you have caused. But because of God, joy cometh in the morning for us. But for you, I hate to say it, I don't even feel sorry for you. Those of you who have planted alcohol, drugs, you know all them liquor stores you plant in the black and Mexican neighborhoods. All of the drugs that you've infiltrated and, and, and swooshed into the poor neighborhood so that you can get rich at the expense of people's lives and destinies. Blood money. Don't think that this stuff is going to be, oh, uh, well, no, don't think it's that God's going to wink at it or give you a little pat on the wrist. The government may do that. But when God gets on your behind, there is no letting up. And if you don't turn around and change and repent, your ASS is G-R-A-S-S. -S, and I will not say it because I represent God, but you can spell. Now listen, there's a scripture that says, and it's in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. And you better listen to this because this is the only way you're going to stop this crap from happening. If my people who are called by my name. Now, when I say if my people, some of you were called by God, but you're just not answering that door. But if you answer that door, some changes can take place before devastation hits. Listen, if my people who are called 
by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Now is your greed that big that you'd rather waste the land just to get an extra tip or two at the expense of your own soul? <laughs> you don't see it now, baby, but God has a butt whooping that never ends and it hurts. You ain't felt no pain till you feel God get on you. It's an unquenchable fire. And hell can take all kinds of shapes and sizes. Remember, God is the creator. And he can create something that only you can't handle. So think about that scripture. It might be time for you to pray. It might be time for you to seek his face. And it might be time for you to humble your rich selves. And start thinking about what you have done. The damage you've done. For the sake of money. God have mercy on you while you can still get it. And God have mercy on us all while you few can make the difference. Give your heart to the Lord. Accept Jesus into your heart. Time is winding up. That clock's about to tick. That alarm's about to go off. And the sky's going to part. And when it parts, all I can say in street terms to you is don't let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord split you. 